You're welcome to this wonderful time on Seas of Destiny. Our Seed of Destiny is titled today, Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this precious one watching. Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord, a very wonderful Sunday to you. It's our Thanksgiving services today, Sunday, and uh, we want to thank God for the successful completion of the first month of the year 2021. Today we take authority over every plan and projection of the enemy against our lives, our nation, our world in the name of Jesus Christ. And we congratulate you because the rest of 2021 shall be great indeed in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Well, our seeds of destiny today is titled um, Discipline, a key to eminence. The Bible says, Seest thou a man diligent in his business, he will stand before kings. He will not stand before mean men. Proverbs 22, 29. Thought for the day. You cannot be disciplined and not be diligent. And you cannot be diligent and not be eminent in life. Many years ago, in the nation of Israel, my husband, the senior pastor, preached a message to a congregation that comprised of the sitting president of Nigeria, governors of states, ministers of the Federal Republic, ambassadors, and several high-profile persons. He got very positive feedbacks and reactions from the message. So someone sent a text to tell him that the message was a product of diligence. Now, in that meeting, he had recited the story of Israel until even the Israelis who were present there confirmed what he said was correct. They were shocked about the details of the nation of Israel that he showed them. The landmass of Israel, the percentage desert, the percentage vegetation, the notable achievements of Israel and all that, all in one message. While on the flight to Israel for that meeting, he had spent about four hours ransacking books and making research in the aircraft until the man sitting beside him, a professor in one of the universities in Nigeria, asked him, are you preparing a thesis? And he sat with him for hours without blinking his eyes, and he just um, stayed on that flight and walked all through. Beloved, discipline brings diligence, and diligence fuels eminence. You cannot be disciplined and not be diligent. And you cannot be diligent and not be eminent in life. No devil can stop a diligent man from becoming eminent in life. This is because this, uh, principles are stronger than principalities. Beloved, if there is any devil that is after your life, that devil today, it shall come to an end as you receive the grace for discipline and diligence and you shall stand before kings in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember this, you cannot be disciplined and not be diligent and you cannot be diligent and not be eminent in life. Praise the Lord. What's our assignment today? Number one, make up your mind to live a life of discipline. Number two, determine to be diligent in everything you do. Praise God. Let's pray. Say after me, O oh Lord, I receive the grace for discipline and diligence in Jesus' precious name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'd like to pray for you today. You want Jesus to be the Lord of your life? Simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I am a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. 
it's your birthday today. You are one of those who decided the first month of the year must not end until I'm born. <laughs> well, congratulations. We're happy to have you in January of every year. And happy birthday to you. Congratulations. As your day is, so shall your strength be. I, I, I declare that the Lord will cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. In Jesus' name.